And welcome, Hoosier fans, to another edition of Banner Morning, recorded early in the morning on Monday, August 13th, 2018. I'm Jared Morris, and we are now 47 days away from Hoosier hysteria. In recruiting news, on Friday, four-star guard James Booknight from Massachusetts announced his final five schools on Twitter. There were no surprises. Indiana made the cut, along with UConn, Virginia Tech, Miami, and VCU. Now we wait to find out when he will take his official visit to Bloomington. In schedule news, the University of Central Arkansas announced its 2018-19 schedule on Sunday, and Indiana was included, meaning the non-conference puzzle is nearly complete for the Hoosiers. Central Arkansas had one of its best seasons in recent history last year, going 18-17 and and finishing number 213 in the Ken Palm rankings. Unfortunately, their prospects for having a similar ranking this year do not appear promising. While two of their four most productive players were freshmen last season, the other two were seniors, including their best guard. And recent history does not suggest that this is a particularly resilient program. Before last season, Central Arkansas had finished 275th or worse in Ken Palm in every season since 2007. Only three of those seasons were top 300 finishes. The Ken Palm preseason projections aren't out yet, but in Bart Torvik's preseason projections, Central Arkansas is 311th. While we await the official schedule announcement from IU, here is what we currently know. All rankings that I'm about to cite are Torvik's preseason projections, which you can find at barttorvik.com. Indiana will open the season against number 347 Chicago State on November 6th. On November 14th, Indiana hosts number 31 Marquette in the Gavit Games. On November 18th, Indiana travels to Arkansas to play the 87th ranked Razorbacks. On November 20th, Indiana hosts number 308 UT Arlington, and these last two games are part of the four-team exempt event with Arkansas, number 77 UC Davis, and number 273 Montana State. We are still awaiting the dates for the UC Davis and Montana State games. Indiana travels to Duke for their ACC Big Ten Challenge matchup on November 27th. Duke is preseason number three. The Hoosiers then host number 45 Louisville at Simon Scott Assembly Hall on December 8th. The following weekend, Indiana will play number 44 Butler in the Crossroads Classic. And then on November 19th, Indiana hosts number 311 Central Arkansas. And just a quick note, I know the way that I said that maybe makes it sound like the Louisville game will come right after the Duke game. But there's a pretty big gap in there, November 27th through December 8th. So surely there will be a game or two. Uh, in between those two contests. So in summation, you have four games against teams projected to be top 50. Including those four games, there are six games total against teams projected to be in the top 100. And then there are the other four games, which are all scheduled against teams projected to be in the bottom 273, and three of those in the bottom 300. And while that last bullet may be a bit concerning to IU fans who pay a lot of attention to non-conference strength of schedule, Just start scrolling back through Indiana's non-conference slates over the past decade, and you will immediately see that this schedule is definitely an improvement. I will be taking a deep dive into the schedule on this week's edition of Podcast on the Brink with Alex Bozich, which should be posted at insidethehall.com sometime on Tuesday, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you for listening to today's Banner Morning. Remember to come hang out with us on Thursday nights at 9 o'clock Eastern Time on YouTube for the live broadcast of Assembly Call Radio and then immediately following every IU game once the season begins. Until then, keep your elbows in and your eyes on the rim. and Go Hoosiers!